the Holy Spirit would rest on a specific person for a specific time for a specific task. Okay, we can see the Holy Spirit was the one who gave Samson his strength. Did you know that? It wasn't his hair. <laughs> okay. It was the Holy Spirit who gave Samson his strength. It was for a specific task, for a specific time. And that's the way Holy Spirit worked on the earth throughout the entire Old Testament. He would raise up a, a, a judge. He would raise up a king. He would raise up a, a ruler. He'd raise up a prophet. He would raise up individuals for a specific time, for a specific purpose, and he would work in and through them to accomplish the will of the Father at that time. When Jesus died and shed his blood for our sins, that opened the door for the Holy Spirit to reign supreme in each believer's life. So every single believer, think about this, every single believer has access to greater power and authority than every one of the greatest prophets of the Old Testament. You know, you may, you may look at like Elijah or Elisha and say, well, they were amazing men of God. But guess what? You have greater access to the Holy Spirit than they ever did. You see the things they did. That pales in comparison what God has put inside you absolutely pales in comparison. So the promise they were waiting for was the Holy Spirit to be released in a new way. And that resulted in the birth of the church. And we see how the Holy Spirit birthed the church. 